What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Horror Gamer back, and uh, we are at it with Resident Evil 3 Remake. And oh, yeah, shit is epic as balls right now. So, we're going to add a recovery coin just to be safe. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna move on. So, let's see what this. Um, this um this police station has in store for us. I know there's little bits of uh creepy crawlies and everything else, so let's do this. Let's see what we got. So we have to find Dr. Bard. Let's say ID security protocols. September sixteenth, nineteen ninety eight. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. RPD Faculty Maintenance Department. Okay. I'm sure Brad won't mind. It's an assault gun ammo. And check this out. I forgot to show you guys this in Resident Evil 2 Remake. So... So if you read down here, you see the words, we do it. This is when they announced that they were going to remake Re Resident Evil 2. Um, they said, we did, they, he was like, we do it. And then it was like two or three years. We didn't hear nothing about it. And then they dropped it on us at a, an E3 event. So that's pretty cool. Oh, shit. There's some fuckery going on in there. What the fuck? Let's see what we got. Damn, bruh. What the hell was that thing? So this is what happened before Leon came on up in this bitch. Let's see, can I look at his face? Yeah. That's crazy. I love how they intertwine the fucking uh two and three. Like in part three they show you what happens before part two and but you know, it's cool as shit. I like how they did that. And this is where everything is at when Leon rolls up. So, we can't get in any of the doors, so. Bruh. We go. Calm your tits. Ozor! Shot that stupid hat off your face. Oh, oh, that one made old butt cheeks, fucker. Damn, like this, bruh. This is why I wish Jill would do more of. Fucking. Hey, calm down. Listen. It's not that serious. I can't believe I missed it right there. Ooh! Permanent nap time. Oh, shit! Dude, I froze right there, bruh. <laughs> Eat that. Dick. You tried. A for effort. Ooh. Boom. Oh, Hell yeah. Did you expect any less, Carlos? Alright. Well, let's take a look at what we got here. I do apologize if you hear the birds in the background. It's like bright and snowy outside, so they're all happy and cheerful, and they're also happy that your boy Horror Gamer is playing some Resident Evil at home. Now see, this wasn't this wasn't turned on when I Resident Evil 2, so. That's cool. All right, let's take a look around. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Ugh. Fucking flash grenades are stupid. All right. Yes, we'll take assault rifle ammo all day, every day. There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. It's a liquor, bro. Okay. Shit. Alright, I gotta back myself in a corner and start firing. Don't. Blah, 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 blah. 
Bitch, die. Oh shit. Oh shit. Calm down. Bitch. Alright, he's dead. He's not. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's not dead yet. So you can tell when they're dead, when you do that first initial slice, and they kind of like jolt. Calm down. Blam! Blam! What's up? Blam! Now we're going to go ahead and finish him off. Try to conserve a little bit of that ammo. Right, he's dead. This box. Green herb. All right. Um, safety. Let's go this way. All right. Hells to the yeah. We'll go ahead and take out a salt scoop. Making my making my CQBR assault rifle look a little sexier. Bruh. Have that. That's for you. We're gonna have a seat. Yep. Alright. Uh, now let me see if I can remember this, because I know there's a certain way to do this. Um fucking uh, safe to get in there and get the goods. And you're gonna you're gonna wanna get in this safe because if I remember correctly, it's going to be some epicness in there for, waiting for you. See if I can remember this. Oh, we're going to get that first. Oh, I hit it wrong. I might be right, I might be wrong. I think it's this, though. My memory serves me correct. Yep. Sweetness. Oh, hell yeah. Let's take that pouch. Two more spaces, bitch. All right, let's reload all our guns. Don't want to be stuck in a battle with no weapons, no full clips. All right. You can use the knife for right now. Uh, combine. Make a full health item. Grab the handgun bullets. All right. What's this? September 20th, arrest report. Name, Ronnie Gray. Occupation, unemployed. Former electrician. Charges, unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Narrative. Suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from the inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect f spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point, questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpses attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up, or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming soon. Got to hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative was administered. Or administered. Note, due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from the suspect's person and residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, 
a battery was removed from one detonation device. Upon its admission into evidence, the battery was secured in a safety deposit room. Interrogating officer Wes Drucker. So we gotta go find a battery and blow something up. I'm down for that. I'm always down to blow shit up. But first, we gotta search. And we have to free up some space. Well, not much space, but enough. All right. Always search around, guys, because you never know what you're going to run into. Like I said, Resident Evil is all about searching and finding supplies to help you survive. So never forget that. I know it can be tedious. I know sometimes backtracking can be an annoying prick, but, you know, you have to do it. A standard military grade knife. Well, oh, okay. Fuck. You know what? Oh, bone up a teeth. Bone up a titty. He's gonna be over here. I have a feeling he's gonna be right over here. Kind of fucked up shooting cops. Not if they're coming at you trying to eat your face. All right. Like I said, sorry about the birds. God, they're annoying. Dude, I love this remake of this song. Uh, I mean, I love the song in general. Like, the remake is good, but uh, it's not its not the original. Let's just be honest. But it's still not a bad remake. So, Rival. We're going to just put it in here. Uh, we're going to get rid of this motherfucker because this is pointless to have. All right. Internal memo. September 22nd, 1998. Office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant three number combination safe. Moved from Star's office, second floor, to West office, first floor. The combo is left nine, right 15, left seven. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. RPD facility maintenance department. Hell yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. If cameras kill those things, I'd be set. I do like that. Da, 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 da. Still not as good as the original, but it's pretty, pretty nonetheless. All right. So I gotta go up here. We're gonna go handgun for now. Just set. Rolling ball. that we're gonna try to not fire on this dude just don't let him up he goes to get up fucking shoulder block him keep his ass down stay down bitch See, that was just called a brutality right there. Just fucking start stabbing and fucking every time he tries to get up, shoulder block the shit out of him. Knock him back on his ass cheeks. He. Alright, he's not. Yes, I'll take that. DCM, what do we got? Hell. Assault rifle ammo. Always, always can use assault rifle ammo. Alright, now let's go ahead and go. You know what? Since we have. Let's go in here quick. That way we can hit everything in one shot. Them. All right, yeah, we'll take that. Now we'll go and what's that? note to a friend, Hector. 
If you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. While you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosives might be our, our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one of the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down. So I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best as I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy Wes. P.S. Don't worry about that 600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Oh, that's nice. Better not. Yeah, he's probably in there all dead. Okay. So now let's go back down here. Let's drop this crap off at the um, in the box and let's move on. That's it. Since I have the coin, I don't need health. Because I don't plan on getting fucked up that bad. So let's drop that. No, let's keep the coin. Let's drop that. Let's drop the health. Okay, make sure we're loaded up, ready to go. All right. Oh shit! Nope. Bitch. Blah blah. Damn. Woo. Ninety-nine. He wasn't. Uh... That's my boy. Ninety-nine, motherfucker. <laughs> more and more, I'm loving Carlos every second. He's a badass. Right. Oh shit. Look at What's up, bruh? Whoa! Have that. And we're going just to make sure. Yep. Slice him in the head a couple times. Make sure he's not moving. And we're good. And yeah, reload. Okay, 104, 106, I guess 109, fuck it. 104. these treats all right awesome we're gonna discard this I know. I'm gonna take bullets and I guess we'll take the grenade just to say we have one then we're gonna take the health make sure it's everything and we got two slots left all right, all right let's move it on oh what's this DCM, got it already. Okay. I think we're done. I think we can go back to the save room and move on with this story. Oh shit. Bitch, stay down. Bitch. Ah, shoulder block right into him. Fuck you. Mm. Let's 
God damn, shoulder block, bro. What are you doing? Fucking A, man. I don't want to waste that bullet. popsicle stand literally <laughs> reload always reload take this All right. Carlos I've hit a dead end with the terminal here gotta head your way copy that I got this bruh don't worry hell yeah Detonator drone. Let's get the fuck out of here. See? Clickety click. Gotta move. Damn, not much time to run. Boom! Boomage. Alright. Now there's gonna be plenty of zombies to shoot. Oh, that was a cute sidestep. Oh. Did I interrupt your nap? Calm down there, Tubbs. One at a time, take a number. Oh, uh -uh. Oops. <laughs> You're drunk. <laughs> You're an idiot. She fucking tripped over her friends. <laughs> this guy's still alive. Now he's dead. Panic firing. There she is. Hi. There you go. He's still alive. He's still alive. She's still alive. All right, now they're dead. Okay. Holy shit. Get the fuck out of here, bruh. I shot you right in the teeth three, two times. Man, it sucks to be popular. Jesus. That bullshit. Fuck out of here. Let's reload. Take it. Definitely take it. Take it. On to the next. Nope. Oh, shit. Okay. Have that. Bitch. That's what you get. Over here, see if there's anything before we before we go through that door. See, God, I love doing that. All right, hell yeah, guys, fucking shit, moving forward, love it. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Did you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. 
I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Oh, this dude's a douche nozzle. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. Now, we can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. Now, I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Okay. There's always something to find in a Resident Evil game. I don't want that. Bleep. We got an AR-15. I'll take it. All right, now this isn't a. Oh shit! This isn't any good anymore. Yes. Good to have. You know what? Fuck it. Since we have a item box right here, let's go ahead. Search around, see what we got. Report on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arkley Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arkley Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went it's unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident accumulated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five stars, five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and I presumed to be, and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Yeah, I would Is say so. Jill in the front row? Yeah. That's Jill. Alright. Let's dump this shit and then move on. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. September 29th, 4.43 a.m. Star's office. 